Hi everyone, thanks for watching. My name is Lake and Harrow and I am the brand manager for the Tobles division here at Jayco. Today I'm with Matt Fisher, the director of product development for the JFlight and Octane SL line. Matt, say hi. Hi everyone. <laughs> Today we are gonna be walking through this Octane right here. It is the 222 floor plan. Matt, take it away. Hi everybody, just a quick, I wanna start out uh, doing a quick walk around on the outside, show you some cool features, and then we'll make our way inside. So again, like we, like Lakin said, this is um, our Octane toy hauler, uh, the 222, very popular floor plan for us, size and weight, uh, makes a good fit for a lot of people. Um, starting on the outside, you'll notice the aluminum skin that we have. The nice thing about this aluminum, uh, the aluminum piece is a couple of things. Number one, the height, the height of the metal panels never get too tall. That's important because it adds strength to the sidewall. Um, we do offer then a fiberglass uh, wall option. So you might look at this and uh, decide, you know what, I'd rather have the fiberglass, no problem. Uh, it's the same color, just turns to fiberglass, same graphic style. If you notice here, we're running on Goodyear tires. We're very, very proud of that here at Jayco. Um, the Goodyear tires that we use, the endurance tires are made here in the USA, we feel is very, very important. Also, these come with a six year warranty. Um, again, just, just very, very important. Your running gear, the frame, the foundation, everything that we like to brag about here at Jayco, um, just pay attention to that. Even if I would take my, my fingers and, and, and look at the inside of the wheel well, you can hear that banging maybe. That's actually galvanized steel that we reinforce the wheel well uh, right there for road debris, anything that you're running down the highway, something kicks up, um, you have that nice protection. I challenge you also when, when you're shopping to, to make sure you just feel around in this area uh, to make sure you, you feel like that's a, a good reinforced area for you. Of course, outlets, you know, we're outside camping, maybe plugging in a crock pot or something. We have some outlets on the outside, your power awning with the LED lights. We also have incorporated uh, speakers into the actual awning, awning arms. Um, we feel like this is a very cool thing. You know, when we're camping, we might have a campfire going over here. The kids are out running over here. My awning is actually extended. So the sound is out here where people are, um, which we feel like is a very cool thing here with the Octane toy hauler. Moving around up front, couple things to show you on the front part um, of this Octane. You'll see here, we have a power hitch, light for backing up, extend, or uh, hooking up. Comes with two 20 pound LP bottles with a bottle cover. And then behind, uh, behind this area, you have a couple key features. Number one, we have a solar port. Um, so you can hook up uh, maybe, you know, portable solar panels um, if you want that extra power. And then we have this nice cargo tray. This is actually a generator. It can be a generator tray. We've designed this to, to fit those portable generators. Um, and if you're not gonna haul a generator with you, uh, hey, why not uh, just think of this as extra storage then? So, um, and again, the Octane, we talked about the aluminum on the front um, and you always will have the fiberglass smooth sided front wall. So uh, very important to know there. Moving around again, I know me when I camp sometimes we're walking around the backside of the camper. It's nice to have the light. Um, just to show you some more things on the outside, we have a sewer hose compartment area. Uh, this is some exterior storage. If you notice on that A-frame with that, that cargo tray, um, in most cases, there's a battery tray on a lot of campers there. So we've actually moved the batteries um, to, to be here in the sidewall area. So you have a locked compartment for your batteries, water heater, some vents, your power cord, um, outside shower with, with hot and cold um, faucets there, your water connections, your water fills. Um, we do equip all of our octanes with a roof ladder. All of our roofs are walkable. It's important to maybe talk about the Magnum truss roof system. Um, again, one of, that, one of the parts about Jayco, we offer a two year warranty. We do feel uh, very proud of, of our construction and what we do, maybe a little bit better than some uh, and that Magnum Trust, if, if you wanna know more about it, we have a link on our website that talks about that Magnum Trust. But these snap pins, if you notice, it's it's a little hard to climb this. L Lakin, would you like to demo climbing this ladder right now? I don't think so. No, no. So, but yeah, the snap pins release and then it, it does fold away from the wall. So 
make it easier. And then on the back side, you'll notice the ramp door. So the ramp door lights, again, to illuminate this back area. If you're gonna be loading, unloading, um, maybe when you need extra light. You also have a backup camera prep on top. So if you wanna add a backup camera, Lakin, will you be my assistant? We're gonna go ahead and demo uh, the ramp door. Or if, so we pull down, pull that out. So I'm just gonna go ahead I could be doing this with, with uh, just myself, but since Lakin's here with me, I'm gonna use her. So this, um, this, this particular unit is built with the ramp patio kit. This is actually optional equipment. Um, without this here, without this option, you would not have the cables here to support the ramp door in this patio position. It would just be the ramp door that comes all the way down, no cables. But for now, like I said, this unit is built with uh, the ramp patio. So we're gonna go ahead and demo this just so everybody's clear on kind of what this looks like, how hard it is to set it up. Maybe um, you've seen toy haulers before with the ramps or with the patios, but never know how to, to operate them. So yeah, we have um, just some snaps here to, to keep this down in the locking position. So you got yours undone. So now it's just a matter of pulling this sideways or pulling this up. Now we're in the up position. And if I might notice now, I, I, I don't think I'll demo how to put it. Well, I'll go ahead and just to put it in the down position. And if you notice, I just had to lift up to get it out of the locks and put it down. And remember when this one was down, you had a nice area to still walk in and out of the camper. So and that's important because a lot of ramp patio Kits aren't that way. You can't access the inside um, with the, the, the ramp patio when it's put away. So this is a nice one for that feature. But let me go ahead and put this one up. And then Lakin, there's a, there's a snap strap locking that arm in. Of course you can get yours. And I have two over here and I'll show you why. Okay, so now it has a roller and it just is gonna latch right here on this hook. So there's that one. I have two of them, if you notice here. And the reason why there's two is because now I have a door. And of course, we don't expect you just to jump in and out. There are steps on the inside um, mounted on the side. Well, that's for shipping and for storage. So those steps here will lock into these clips here. And then you have an easy access in and out of your, uh, your party deck. So that's a very cool thing. One thing I should add is the ramp door, when it's down in the loading and the unloading position has a weight rating of 2,500 pounds. In this position as a patio, uh, you have a weight rating of uh, 1,800 pounds. So you and several of your friends uh, can be in this patio and be enjoying the outside. Again, that's optional on this unit without it. Uh, you just have the ramp door that would come all the way down to the loading position uh, or unloading position, we should say. Okay, so that's a ramp patio kit. Um, let's move on to the inside of the unit and I'll show you the inside. So, um, by the way, one thing I didn't notice, the key to like or talk about the key to like sticker that you see, we have one key that will operate baggage doors, entrance doors, and also the ramp doors. Um, be careful because some toy haulers still require like for you to use a padlock and, and padlocks versus a keyed lock. We'd much rather have a keyed lock over there. So having key to like one key to operate that. So now we're on the inside of the 222. Um, it's a 22 foot box. Overall, your total length is around 2,600 pounds. I don't think I mentioned the length, did I Lakin? Nope. I'm sorry, the weight. The weight is just over 5,600 pounds in that 56, 57, uh, depending on options. And it has a um, um, gross vehicle weight rating of 8,000 pounds. So, you know, mostly mostly half ton tr uh, truck towable, just depending on, on what that is. So um, inside you'll notice on, on your D-rings, okay? These are important to talk about for a couple different features. Uh, number one, the size and the strength of the actual rain itself. Uh, and then the fact that there's four screws that you see here. Um, and these screws are actually 
going down to the steel chassis. There's a plate on the frame that these screws are actually gonna go through that plate. So that's one thing if you're gonna be shopping and, 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 and buying a toy hauler to make sure that, that these D-rings are fastened to the frame, not just to the floor. Um, screws can come out of wood um, um, a little bit easier than they can, can uh, come out of a steel frame. So it's important to know. So here you have two queen beds. Um, these are electric. We'll show you how that operates um, over here in the master switch command center area, which is very cool. I don't have exposed switches. Uh, I know my little eight year old son would like to come over here and push fancy red lights. So we have the nice door on them to kind of hide those and get them out of the way. But one of the thing, one of the switches here is for cargo bed master. Okay, that kills the power. I can turn that on and now I can operate the queen beds in the back. And if you notice now, um, that top one stayed in the up position. Okay, and I, uh, it's important to talk about, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this right now. But this little gold locking clip, if you see this, this is actually uh, what engages that top or disengages the top. Um, if I turned all of them over that way, and ran this back up, it's actually gonna disengage this and allow that to come down now, uh, all, you know, with, with uh, the, the bottom one. But for now, I'm gonna keep that in the down position because I wanna demo. The other thing I wanna do is this. There are some uh, support legs here. I'm gonna go ahead and push these in the down position. I'm gonna sneak over here. Um, put these in the down position and these when we are using this because what I'm going to do is go ahead and lower this and now I'm going to be able to use this bottom sleeping surface as a dinette area or sitting area. So once this gets down you have the legs to help support that, that bottom seat base. If you notice, there's a nice honeycomb texture on top. Gives it a very nice, cool design. And those are adjustable if you don't like the height of this sitting area and want it lower or higher, that's, that's good there. But for now then, this, if you notice, this just kind of rolls over. You have some nice, cool cup holders armrest there in the center. And I can do the same thing over here to this side. And again, you have this. So now we have, you know, again, you can see why we have the supports down here on the bottom and I have sitting position. You do have a table that comes right here. So you have an eating, eating table there and that's located right up here underneath this. We don't want that to go anywhere. So we ship the table underneath that. So go ahead and talk about some more things on the inside. Again, these are the steps for that rear patio. Maybe if you missed that part, um, that's this is just a shipping location storage position. You have a nice high rise faucet here with a pull out sprayer. Okay. Storage wise, you have some doors and drawers. These overhead, all the all the cabinet doors, by the way, are real wood cabinet doors. It's very, very important to know um, not all RV manufacturers are using real wood cabinet doors. Um, they like to maybe so save some money and use a wrapped um, wood material with a paper wrap on it. Um, we feel like using real wood cabinet doors is actually the better way to go about it. So your double sink here, you have a backsplash, two burner stove, convection microwave oven is standard here. This refrigerator then, it's very important to notice that this is an eight cubic foot refrigerator. Um, your controls here are on the outside. I can choose between um, different modes to operate that, but the eight cubic foot uh, NOR code actually gives you an extra um, tray in here versus what the six cubic foot would, uh, would give you. So we all need extra refrigerator space. This is your, your main sleeping area. There is storage underneath of this that that is accessed on the outside. So you do have some exterior storage. We ship some goodie boxes in there. Um, 
the, the sink covers and whatnot are in there. Some more overhead storage, nice window, some ventilation. Um, then in the, the bathroom, you have a nice big shower, towel rack, and a toilet paper holder, which is very important, not always found in your bathroom in some campers, so make sure that's in there. Large round sink with a medicine cabinet then. Uh, moving around over here, some more storage area. Nice big shelves. Um, we actually add then a clothes rod if you want some more hanging area in there. Um, you have Bluetooth, uh, AM, FM, radio. You're in, in your entertainment area, TV hookups. You have some USB chargers. If uh, this particular unit does not come with the TV, uh, you do have a backer location up here if you wanted to either sit it up here or mount it right up there. And again, this area here, um, gives you more sitting area. So between your dinette area that you see, just see how I folded that almost in half. Okay, so I can use, bring that down, use it for some more sitting locations. So you can see if we're all camping together and just sit around and have a nice cold beverage or whatnot and enjoy your camping and your toy hauler and the octane. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, make sure you leave us a comment. We'll try to get that answer right away. You can also visit us on our website at jaco.com. Lakin, did I miss anything? Um, can you sure think of anything? Follow us on our other social media channels and stay tuned for some more Facebook walkthroughs. Thanks a lot, Matt. Thanks, Thanks everybody.